Continuing with our kitchen now, we're going to have a look at putting some wall units and an extractor hood over the oven. So let's do the extractor hood first. Again, component load family. And we're in that speciality equipment domestic still. And if we just look along this list, we can see, there we go, we have an exhaust hood. So I'm going to open that and drop that into position. Okay, now it says it's not visible in this plan view. That's because of the height that it's at, but that's okay. So we'll just look across at our 3D section. Okay, and we can see that looks pretty good as to where we've lined it up. So I'm quite happy to leave that by there. Again, if you weren't happy with the size of this exhaust hood, you can see there's two sizes there. So we've got a large 900 wide one. There we go. Or we can just stick with the one we've got. Um, we could also edit the type and create your own size as well. I'm just going to stick with the 600. I feel that suits what I've got there. And what I'm going to do then, as I said, is add some wall units. So let's have a little look at component load family, and we've got to go back to our casework file. And now we've got wall cabinets. And we've got quite a few options. So corner units. Now we can see some of these are short and some of them are tall, different sorts and sizes. So it's picking which ones we want. Now I do want a corner one. Having a bit of trouble there. Going where it should. Right. Let's just check on that. Seems to not quite be where I want it. So I'm just going to use the little move command, zoom in, take it from there to there. Okay, seems to have locked itself by there. Let's have a little look at that. Okay, yeah, that seems to be fine. I'm not happy with that unit though. That's a bit too big. So I don't want that. Let's have a little look what else we've got. Nothing else in that range. So let's just uh, delete that one. And I'll find a different unit. So sometimes you do end up just dropping ones in. We'll go for that one then. Yeah, that looks much more along the sign lines of what we want. Now again, it's a bit funny the way that it does this. Let's have a look at it in 3D. See, we've got that 20 there, we'll change that to zero so it's tight to the wall. And that seems to have done the correct thing. And now we want a couple of units alongside it. So I'm going to put a glass
Okay. And then we can go back and put some more units on the other corner. And this time I want some non-glass units over this side. Sometimes just a little tweaking of the dimensions just to make them fit. Let's have a little see how that looks. So that's fine, I think. We've got a few solid units on that side and this side and then we got some ones with glass there and that completes our basic kitchen.